Ready? The music's on time. Um, where's the music? There we go. Oh, no, it's still on. Still on? Yeah. I tried to turn it off, but it failed. Well, where's Lewis right now? Is he trying to turn off the music? Yeah. Well, good evening and welcome to Herman's Jazz Club. And uh, we have the usual suspects this evening. We have uh, David Emery on drums, Rob Johnson on bass, and yours truly, Tom Vickery. And we're going to open, thank you. We're going to open with um, a standard by Rogers and Hart. It's, it's uh, from a musical called I'd Rather Be Right. Here's Have You Met Miss Jones?
Thank you very much. That's, uh, that wasn't the song that I was going to open with, but going through the program, Rob says, yeah, I'd like to do this song. So that's why we uh, opened with Have You Met Miss Jones? This was the opener I had planned. It's uh, <laughs> the standard that's uh, from a film called Melody for Two by the great composer Harry Warren. And Al Dubman, I think, had a hand in this too. It's called September in the Rain. And um, actually, that's a, that's a name of uh, Nelson Riddle's biography. No, uh, September in the Rain. I think from that great song arrangement that he did for Frank Sinatra. Anyway, here's September in the Rain which I think we had a little rain last night and it's September, so and it's September. why not? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to fit. <laughs>
Thank you. September in the rain. This next composition is uh, written by a wonderful friend, a wonderful tenor sax player who passed away last year. Um, he had a great group, a great quintet called Bebop Madness. And he played here quite a few times at Herman's over the years with Bruce Hearn, I believe on trumpet. And uh, anyway, it's a, it's a song that Ed Felt wrote for his wife, Elvira, is called Little Waltz for L.
thank you very much. A little waltz for L. Not only do you let me have it here on stage, you bring me my beer. It's so this nice. Is on TV, Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice touch on live stream. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> that's a friendship, friendship. Channel player, yeah, serves the bass player oh, yeah, right there. Exactly. Anyway, the next one's a composition by Victor Young, and he wrote so many wonderful tunes. Stella, you know, and My Foolish Heart. And uh, we're going to do one perhaps not as well known. It's called Love Letters. As LPs would say, not in the sand. You'd have to know Pat Boone for that one. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. These guys are too young. <laughs> How far are we going back here? <laughs> Not one, 1938 or anything. One, two, three, <laughs>
Oh, thank you very much. Love Letters by Victor Young. Here's a melody based on Maurice Ravel's Havana. Oh, that's better. The mic is yeah. low. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. Every now and then, I sort of forget. Uh, it's a composition uh, based on uh, Maurice Ravel's Pavan. It's called The Lamp is Low. The mic's hot. It's a little boomy. It's a little hot. It's a little boomy. So this is a little different tempo than... Uh, is it still on? No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's still on. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that on. Yeah, yeah. That'd be bad. Straight in.
Thank you so much. So it's uh, autumn in a few days, so I thought I'd uh, sneak in a couple of autumn songs. Here's uh, Vladimir Dukelsky's composition called Autumn in New York. Vladimir Dukelsky is better known as Victor Duke. Vernon Duke, I mean, Vernon Duke, and here's his Autumn in New York. With vocal by Rob. <laughs> Do you want to try and get a hold of that reverb? Oh, it doesn't matter. Forget it. Forget about it. Forget it. It's just, it's, I think it's in the monitor. I don't know. Total flash time only? Yeah. Okay. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Wow, well, thank you very much. Yeah. Autumn in New York. Here's something I hope we have. It's Indian summer.
thank you very much. We're just going to take uh, just a very short break. See you in a few minutes. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. 
Wonderful guitarist and whistler. The whistler. He he recorded this song, Blue Z. Maybe more familiar with uh, in the sixties and he played guitar on it and he whistled. Really? Of course now he's today he's known as a wonderful harmonica player. And, uh, an amazing harmonica player, but he did write this composition, a jazz waltz called Blue Zet. You have a button on there. I don't have to turn this off and on, you see, so. As long as Lewis remembers to turn it off, to double check. Oh, he's good, he's good, he's good. Remember, Lewis, we don't want to have to call you, no. I'll be checking, Lewis. So. <laughs> All right. So it was on A, letter Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> A little slower.
thank you so much. Yes. Bluesette. Bluesette. I, I don't know of any other composition that he wrote, but uh, that's like sharing with his his big hit, Lullaby Birdland. I guess this was Telemann's big hit, Bluesette. Are we going to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like we're going to play it again. Yeah. Well, today is... Uh, Still feeding back. Cannibal Adderley's birthday. Um, 93. Wow. We're going to play a song written by Cannonball Adderley. It's called Things Are Getting Better. He's 93. Which I hope is true. <laughs> He's 93, something? Yeah. Wow. I haven't talked to him lately, but. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not on. Yeah. Actually, wait. Come. Here we go. Still on. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah. So it's kind of one of those tunes. Yeah. One, two.
Yeah, things are getting better. It's definitely a, a cannibal type tune. Yeah. He's got rooms and rooms of this kind of music. <laughs> pages everywhere that he pulls out. It's crazy. Anyway, um, back to Autumn in a few days. A uh, uh, famous composition written by Ralph Burns. It was the pianist for the Woody Herman Orchestra. Woody Herman, of course, had several herds, several bands. First herd um, ran for a couple of years, and then he packed it in. Uh, the second herd is called the Four Brothers Herd. And uh, the reason for that, it was a very, very famous sax section. Um, made, well, it had several members, but the, the final version of his sax section was Zoot Sims, Stan Getz, Al Cohen, and Serge Chaloff on baritone sax. That was the uh, final version of the Four Brothers. So Jimmy Jufri, a uh, clarinetist and tenor saxist of note, wrote a composition called The Four Brothers. And uh, Serge Chaloff actually had two jobs in the band. He was the, anchored the section as a baritone saxophonist, but he was the band druggist as well. So <laughs> if anybody was feeling ill, he, he would uh, make sure that they felt better. <laughs> but, uh, that was one of his jobs. <laughs> anyway, in that band, the pianist, Ralph Burns, wrote a wonderful suite called Summer Sequence. And part four of that sequence, it was in four parts, there was a song called Early Autumn. And this kind of put Stan Getz on the map, a wonderful solo on this particular composition. So we're going to play Ralph Burns' Early Autumn. Turn the mic off. Yeah, you can't do it. There's no freaking switch on that one. It's a trick. You've only been doing that for 40 years, 35 <laughs> years. Here, so it's, yeah, habit, it's habit, it's habit, it's habit, it's habit. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 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 Are, we, are we just doing this one, the first page? Or no, well, yeah, no, it's this one. Second page. Just this one. The second page. It's just this one. Because <laughs> there's another page. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> You're going to play this. So this one. Rob, you were at the meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. One, two.
Thank you very much. As I mentioned, uh, of course, the, his, Woody Herman's second herd was known as the Four Brothers Band because of those famous saxes, Zoot Sims and Stan Getz, Al Cohen and, and Serge Chaloff. The first band made money. The second band, the Bebop Band, <laughs> was a flop. <laughs> but um, they did survive. And I guess his third herd, he, he kind of uh, became a little more commercial and kind of kept the band going, made a little more money. But the Four Brothers Band, Jimmy Jufrey, saxophonist, uh, wrote Four Brothers. He also wrote a composition called Four Mothers. And um, and later on, he actually wrote a song called Four Others. <laughs> but uh, Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, Mulligan, <laughs> Jerry Mulligan, not to be left out of the picture, wrote a song called Five Mothers, <laughs> uh, Brothers, brothers. <laughs> Five Brothers. <laughs> so we're going to play Jerry Mulligan's Five Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this again. <laughs> Is this one page? One page? Or two uh, pages? Yeah. Okay. Because there were two pages. I know. Yeah. I know. Again, I know again, we're with the same thing where I, there's. I know you forget. Just with, if the audience. Okay. Medium. Okay.
So <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Continuing this saga. Here we go. Um, very famous television series, Henry Mancini, uh, Henry Mancini, called Peter Gunn. And he wrote a composition <laughs> called The Brothers Go to Mothers. And um, uh, in the series, of course, Mothers was, a, was kind of a, a, a jazz club down on the waterfront. And uh, if you had to do business with Peter Gunn, you had to go to that club called Mothers. And there were a couple of actors who played the role of mothers. So we're going to keep our mothers and brothers thing happening. <laughs> and we're going to play Henry Mancini's The Brothers Go to Mothers from Peter Gunn. It's a strange night, actually. <laughs> a strange program. Yeah. Oh, it's a strange boy. night. Wow. Yeah. wow. Great songs, though. Okay. See how close I am. One, two, and three. There we go, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. If you missed the intro, you're laughing. Let us play for a bit.
that's a weird song. Yeah. yeah. With the same yeah. So th that's the end of the mothers, brothers, Whew. others Thank story God. for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, last time I was here, Four brothers. a couple of weeks ago, I played a composition by uh, Ali Rubel. And that uh, he wrote a song called Gone with the Wind. And that was probably his, his hit, uh, big hit. But he, he did write some others. And he wrote this one. And it's called I'm Afraid the Masquerade is Over.
Well, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Wow. It's been a wonderful audience. It's so, it's so nice to play for people. Real people. Uh, real, real, people. real people, yes. Brothers and mothers and, mothers and brothers. et cetera. And sisters and, uh, and sisters. <laughs> yeah, sisters. You didn't play any sisters, yes. though. Anyway, we'll, we'll you've been listening to band. Dave Emery on drums. Rob Johnson on bass. And yours truly, Tom Vickery on piano. Thank you so much. You, you are just so wonderful, and you, you made our evening. And um, we didn't have any, anybody to sit in, but we were quite prepared to play for the, the two hours sets. Hours. We'll, um, I'm here one month from today. I think I'm here on the 14th of October. So... If you want to come back then and uh, hear the trio, I hope you do. On behalf of Tom Vickery and the trio, thank you and good night. Thanks. Thank you. We played some different stuff tonight. <laughs>
get that. That's a hit. The next uh, show will be better. <laughs> I guarantee. Oh, I like the microphone solo. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll bring that back. <laughs>